What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And with this video, we are jumping into Teen Titans Academy issue number eight now if you haven't been keeping up with the teen titans academy go ahead check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video it will get you completely caught up on everything going on in this line now i'm not gonna lie this line is started off very strong introducing the red x it was teasing us on who it might be who it could be so on and so forth but over the last couple of issues, we have really gotten away from Red X, the whole idea surrounding it, and so on and so forth, and really dived in to who these new Teen Titans might be. But I am happy to say that we are going to be seeing some Red X inside this issue. With all of the kids headed back to the Academy, with so many questions left about who Roy Harper was, what happened to him, and how did he die? Some of them might think it's a good idea to play with the H-Dial. And so with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so issue number 8 is picking us up outside of Teen Titan Academy. And what we have currently is a brand new list, a brand new gathering of possible students that could be coming to this school and we have cyborg and donna troy making their way down to the ground coming to meet all of the students coming to meet all of the parents almost immediately one of the first questions isn't this guy roy harper the statue that you have wasn't he murdered by one of your own guys now cyborg lets him know that the circumstances surrounding mr arsenal's death they're far more complex than the news outlets would have you let on. And saying while the Flash, he remains a trusted friend. He is no longer on the Titans roster, and he is not a member of the Academy faculty. And in the blink of an eye, this is where we see the arrival of the one, the only, Wally West. Coming in with his two speedsters, He's ready to get them enrolled in some Teen Titans Academy. And so with him coming in like a freaking lightning bolt, obviously people are not happy about this. Because he is the guy, quote unquote, that murdered Roy Harper, that murdered Arsenal. Now of course we have seen in the Flash line, this has been changed over a few times, Savitar has been technically put to blame for it. You know, there's been a bunch of different reasons on why that happened. They've done their best to retcon that because fans just were not happy with Heroes in Crisis. So they have made their best efforts up to this point to change the circumstances that were surrounding Arsenal's death. Now, obviously, Wally West, he didn't mean to cause a commotion or cause a stir to make anybody mad, but he is here because he wants to enroll his children. And so as they dive into their conversations, this is where we pick up with Brat Girl and Gorilla Greg. With Matt outside pulling guard, right now they are going through Miguel's room. They are looking for something in here, ransacking the entire room. With them wearing ski masks as if people aren't going to know exactly who these two individuals are, they find exactly what they're looking for. Because they came looking for the H-Dial. Now with them taking off into their room, this is where we pick up with Raven and Changeling, aka Beast Boy. And as these two sit down and have a conversation, Changeling quickly recognizes that Raven isn't really paying attention, and that is because of Nevermore, also known as Dane. After his trip from hell, he has come back with a much different persona, and Raven is very concerned right now. With their attention scattered between their classes, their work with their league, their daily cosmic threats, everything going on in their personal lives what if something was able to slip through the cracks what if these kids who are all depending on them not to get hurt or worse what if something happens because we were distracted now of course she is referring to the apocalyptic visions that she has been having up to this point ever since their trip down there with nevermore and she is worried because those possibilities all have probabilities what if there is a chance even a small chance that that reality is going to happen and this is when she has another vision a vision of nevermore with nevermore grabbing hold of brick and impaling him with a sword 
Now, this obviously absolutely freaks Raven out, but she doesn't know what to do with this information, at least not yet. Now, that is what picks us up in the training simulator, with all of the prospective students and the parents here waiting for Corey to arrive. She apologizes to them, but with safety being their top priority, we ask that people only observe what is going on today to stand back and enjoy the demonstration of what is about to happen now wally west he's a little bit confused on what is going on here wondering why dick grayson is not here now we know what's going on with dick grayson he's been busy in gotham he's been busy in bloodhaven he hasn't had too much time for the teen titans academy but while the two of them are in this discussion it really looks like Corey is trying to blow wally west off that is, until we hear some screaming from the parents and the students. And with them rushing into the room, this is where we see Red X appearing to be a hologram. And behind him is Wally West when he detonated, when he exploded and killed Arsenal. And he is explaining to all of the students, to all of the parents, that this is what happens when you were a Titan. Saying that it is time that somebody showed them the truth. The Titans can't keep one of their own alive in a team of six people. So how do you expect them to keep all of your students safe, all of your children safe? And if that is not bad enough, Roy Harper, a Titan, died at the hands of former Kid Flash, another Titan. And we see Brat Girl, she runs over and she disables the hologram. But with the hologram going down, we see that Red X is not a hologram. He is real. He is here in person. Now everyone is ready to jump in on him. Corey telling everyone that they need to stand down. Saying they do not attack someone unless there is a threat at hand. Now Red X, he tries to tell them that he came here with no weapons. He came only to talk to them. Now, Corey tells him that that is fine, but we would like to get the civilians, the parents, the children out of here before we have a conversation. Now, Red X lets her know that that's going to be a little bit difficult because the people he wants to talk to are not the heroes, not the titans, but the parents, the children that might be coming here. Now, Wally West, he goes in, he rushes quick just to remove his mask. Red X telling Wally that he could try, he could take off his mask. But by now you've probably figured out that someone who can get into the tower fortress completely undetected might have thought of that one. And there might be some kind of contingency that's going to end up hurting you if you try to take off my mask. Now Wally West, he is absolutely livid and he just wants to tear this kid apart right now. But Corey is able to pull him back, relax him a little bit, telling him that he needs to think of all of the children. And so Wally agreeing, he grabs everyone and gets them out of here at freaking mock speeds. And as soon as he has everyone to safety, Wally West wastes absolutely no time running back into the facility and hitting Red X right across the face. Red X telling him that he is quick to anger, but if they want to do it that way, let's have a party. Telling them he, he cut his vacation short just so he could be here and disrupt this orientation. And we see Red X making his way through all of the cadets, through all of the titans, telling them that he came to talk, and then they decided to throw hands. Because that is their way, that is the old way that they have always gone by. And so today's lesson that he is trying to teach, to tell the students that they need to be better, telling them that they need to open their eyes, that there is more to see to the situation. And with that, the lights go out, and Red X, he disappears. With Corey and the Flash searching the entire facility, they cannot find him anywhere. They only find Cyborg completely immobilized, and Red X is gone. And so that picks us up with our Titan meeting. Having Wallace West, having Donna Troy, Corey, everybody sitting down, trying to figure out what the heck just happened. Now, right now, Wally West is on his way back from Bloodhaven with Dick Grayson. And so they're going to get started with them arriving in short time. Now, they want to start discussing Red X. But Donna Troy lets us know that there is something that is far more pressing than some guy with a Red X on his face. Right now, we have to worry about Raven's premonitions. 
saying that it's not just about Red X. It's not just about the Academy anymore. It's about the whole world. It is about the future and who is going to be alive in it. Now that is where we pick up with Miguel frantically going through his entire room looking for his H dial. Frantically looking, not being able to find it, he hears some commotion outside. Going outside of his room, he sees a bunch of individuals crowded around one bedroom. And with everyone sitting around a table, they are playing with the H dial. Now we saw this transpire in Future State. This was supposed to bring on some kind of apocalypse. Them messing with the H dial, all these events adding up, eventually led to the Future State event, to Raven becoming the darkness. But with them all sitting around playing with the H dial, they try to figure out what they're gonna do with it. And they all think that they wanna talk to Roy Harper to find out what really happened to him. And they're thinking to themselves, if this thing, the H dial, it truly does connect you to the hero verse, and Roy Harper is in fact dead, then we can talk to him directly and find out what happened. Now remember, the hero verse, it's essentially heaven for superheroes. And so without wasting any time, we see Brat Girl, she takes the H dial and she starts to dial in Roy Harper. Now it doesn't seem to be working at first, but then there seems to be some kind of silhouettes glowing in the background. Something is starting to appear to them. But before our heroes can expose themselves for who they are, Miguel rushes into the room and he grabs the H dial. He stops them from connecting to the hero verse. And in that same moment, we hear the voice. Completely confused on what is going on right now, everyone looks over to the doorway and we see Roy Harper asking what is going on, what happened to this place, when did kids start running around here, and why is there a statue out front that looks a lot like me. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Now if you guys didn't catch the Infinite Frontier, you probably don't know that Roy Harper has been alive. Not only has he been alive, he was an Omega Lantern for Darkseid. But now with that all being done, at least for Roy Harper, he's gonna make his way home. Make his way back to his family. To the people he loves and cares about. And the whole Darkseid issue, that's gonna be covered in Justice League Incarnate. Which is something that we're gonna be covering later this week with issue number one just dropping. You know, like we talked about in the Superman comic, the Future State event is still very much up in the air. Though it does look like Gotham has, has the Magistrate taken down. They've been eliminated, Simon Saint is in custody, Scarecrow has been brought down. And so by all accounts, the Fear State in Gotham has come to an end. The Future State might not actually happen. But when it comes to Superman, when it comes to the Teen Titans, those are all very much possibilities. They are still very much up in the air, though it already looks like some things are going different with the Teen Titans. And now with the arrival of Roy Harper, we can only imagine that things are going to change in more drastic ways. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And until the next breakdown.